All right, first up, could Christian Bale actually be returning as Batman? Well, according to a report over at Latino Review, it's a possibility. The site is reporting that Batman series director Christopher Nolan is taking over the DC Comics movie universe over at Warner Brothers. Now, the site claims that Zack Snyder, director of 300 and the upcoming Superman film Man of Steel, will co-produce with Nolan and possibly direct a WB Justice League movie. And they're trying to get Christian Bale back as Batman for it. The report goes on to say it's possible it might not be Justice League at all, but rather a movie version of World's Finest, a story that focuses on just Superman and Batman. In either case, John, what do you think of these rumors of Bale returning as Batman for Justice League? Okay, the first thing we have to, let me address this first. We have to address the question of, is it true? Now, I've had a lot of you guys email me this weekend saying, John, mm -hmm. have you heard that Christopher Nolan is officially running Justice League? Let's put a stop to that right now. No, he's not. That is not true. It's not official. Neither Warner Brothers, DC, Christopher Nolan, anybody mm -hmm. has confirmed this at all. So you can't say it's official. Now, just because it's not official doesn't mean it's not true. But you just got to be very clear. This is not official. Now, the second thing we have to point out is this. I'm a big fan of Latino Review. I'm actually personal friends with Elma Imbe, who's the guy who broke this story. He and I talk on the phone every couple months. We have a really good time when we hang out at Comic-Con. But I do have to mention, all things above board, I gotta mention this. The last two big scoops that have come out of Latino Review have proved to not be true. Mm -hmm. Latino Review was the first site to break that Harrison Ford had officially signed on for the new Star Wars film. Then Mark Hamill came out and said, actually, none of us have officially signed on yet. We're looking at it, but we, we have not signed yet. So that wasn't true. Then Latino Review came out and said that Avengers 2 and 3 was going to focus around the Planet Hulk and World War Hulk storylines. But now Marvel representatives have come out and said that's a thousand percent, that's their words, a thousand percent inaccurate. That, that wasn't true. So the last two big scoops have not worked out. So take now, but they have had <laughs> lots of scoops in the past, lots of scoops proved to be totally true. Mm -hmm. So just take this with a grain of salt. Now, let's assume for a second that it's real. Mm -hmm. Let's assume for a moment that the Christopher Nolan running DC, gonna try to get Christian Bale back, all that kind of stuff. Let's say that's a true report. Well, it does a couple things. It's surprising because it flies in the face of everything Christian Bale and Christopher Nolan have said. Christopher Nolan has stated emphatically he is done with Batman. Christian Bale has told us directly on a red carpet mm -hmm. that he was never going to play a comic book character again. Um, so if this was true, it's, f it's making a liar out of them and it's flying right in their face. That being said, it also makes not a lot of sense because Christopher Nolan did his Batman universe that does not have room for supernatural or the superhuman. I mean, the, the beauty about the Batman films that Christopher Nolan made, it was that it was so, you know, ingrained and planted in a reality sort of way, in a very realness. Mm -hmm. Can a Superman, an alien from another world with superhuman powers really fit into that type of a Nolan vision? I don't know if it does, but even if that's the case, of course you'd be happy mm -hmm. if Christopher Nolan is running Justice League. Of course you're thrilled if Christian Bale is actually coming back to play Batman. I don't think it makes any sense. I think it flies in the face of everything that we know. I think it contradicts all the statements we've heard mm -hmm. so far. But if true, of course it's awesome. Anyway, that's that's just my point of view. Amy Rose, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, um, I also got a lot of emails and stuff like, did you hear this? This is amazing. I was like, wait a minute before we pop the champagne because, you know, <laughs> As you've stated, both Christian Bale and Christopher Nolan have said, you know, no more comic book, no more Batman. And opposed to a lot of actors and directors that say that, I actually believe them. I right. feel like there is credibility there. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, say Warner Brothers came over with a truckload of money. Who knows? Obviously, the idea of someone like Christopher Nolan, who's pretty much been the only solid DC representation thus far. Yeah. Obviously, that concept is amazing. Like, we were hoping that Man of Steel was going to be a great success and that, you know, maybe Zack Snyder and Christopher Nolan could set the standard for all DC films moving forward. That's been the heart of all fanboys and fangirls moving <laughs> forward. But at the same time, I mean, first of all, until you hear it from the horse's mouth, it's not true. So let's not get too excited about it yet. But 
sure that would be great. Christian Bale, by far my favorite Batman, no question. I mean, Christopher Nolan's take on Gotham was amazing, and I'm a huge Nolan fan. But that brings up another point. If he was to godfather this whole DC universe, sure, the fangirl in me loves it, but I also want to see his original work. So yes. say he's, you know, a Kevin Feige role, and it takes him out of the whole other cinematic universe that he could create. So I'm, I'm torn on that. Would I love it for the DC world? Oh, hell yeah. But I do love the Inceptions and all the other other amazing films that he's created. Yeah. So it, it does kind of bring up an interesting and, point. You know, you raise a really interesting point that I myself have said and lots of us have said, all Warner Brothers has to do is back a dump truck full of money up to Christopher Nolan's <laughs> house. And we've all said it, we've all said it. But here's the reality, right now, anybody yeah. will back a dump truck full of money as up they to Christopher should. Nolan's house mm -hmm. anytime he wants to let him make any film he wants. Mm -hmm. And look, I don't think he wants to make superhero films anymore. Yeah. I think he wants to make his other films. And I'm so glad you brought up Kevin Feige. Because Kevin Feige, president over at Marvel Studios, mm -hmm. so we all think of Joss Whedon running the Marvel Universe, but it's not. No, it's it's Feige. Kevin Feige. And that is his 100% mm -hmm. day in, day out committed job, not doing anything else. I don't think Christopher Nolan can do something like that for the mm -hmm. DC Universe because he has he's an artist. Yeah. He wants to make more of these amazing yeah. prestige or mementos. He already has interstellar company. He's got interstellar yeah. company. He's got all these other things to do. Yeah. I just can't see how this makes sense. Yes. So it's two answers. Yes. I think that we both agree on. One, this makes no sense. Yes. But two, if true, we're gonna pop the pain. <laughs> so, anyway. Hey guys. If you like this video, make sure to stop what you're doing and subscribe to our AMC Theaters YouTube channel to keep up to date on all the movie news, editorials, and our AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to hear about all our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.